Hi, welcome to Ask Less. I'm Less. One of the terms that's bantered about quite often in the industry uh, for people selling amplification uh, products is amplification ratio. This is the ratio of the compressed air uh, that's coming out of an air amplifier. I have an air amplifier in my hand. Uh, to the compressed air actually being consumed. In this case, the compressed air comes in here, and you have the amplified air coming out here. How an air amplifier works is very basic. Compressed air comes in, goes over what they call a coanda profile, goes through the unit. The back uh, air, which is still air, gets entrained from the rear, goes into the unit, mixes with the high velocity compressed air from the compressor, and comes out mixed as a higher volume with high velocity. Now, try to imagine what happens. When the air is mixed, it's taking still air, mixing with moving air. As it's mixed, it's going to slow down. So there's going to be a certain velocity depending on how much it's mixed at the exit. As the air moves out, this combined air moves out another six inches, you get downstream entrainment of more air. Again, slowing it down. So the basic concept is, as the volume goes up, that's amplified, the velocity will go down. This makes sense. A good amplifier will give you an amplification ratio, depending on the size, anywhere from 6 to 20. Uh, 20 would be probably the maximum at the exit. Anything more than that would be a bit dubious. Uh, if someone claims anything higher than 20, I would question it very seriously. Um, and again, another six inches down, you should get another three times that. So if the amplification ratio is 15 at the exit, it should be three times that or 45 times six inches away. But recognize that at six inches away, it's already slowing down. So you can get maybe an amplifier that will amplify 25 or 30 times at the exit, but it's going to be very slow. If it's very slow, you're not going to have enough velocity to cool. You're not going to have enough velocity to blow off whatever you want to blow off. Uh, so be very careful when somebody uh, publishes a figure to make sure you actually try to clarify what that amplification figure really is. So hopefully that explains the amplification ratio to you. If you have any questions concerning compressed air use for blow-off, cooling, moving, or drying, ask less.